Neil Patrick Harris says he knew he was gay at an early age, but he didn't tell his mom and dad until he was in his 20s. In their first television interview, we talked to Neil's parents, Sheila and Ron, about that time. I was surprised. I, uh, you know, not, not totally floored, not totally shocked, but it, it, it did come as a surprise to me. I think I was disappointed, sure. I think it's just harder for dads. I, I just think dads have aspirations for their sons that are deep within them that they don't even realize that they have. I um, don't understand a lot of things about the gay uh, lifestyle. You know, it, is, uh, is AIDS a problem? Um, is your son in danger? You just worry about things more because you don't understand, I think. Um, you know, the, the more we learn about uh, their relationship, about David, you can't help but uh, become accepting. They're a good couple, just like uh, heterosexual couples. I hope they do get married someday. Yeah, I hope so too. The impetus to have kids was yeah. because my mom passed away. Really? That's all she really wanted, was to be a grandma. David came out to his parents when he was in college. Like Neil's father, David's father, Dan, told us it took some time to accept that his son was gay. It's very difficult to think of your son in a relationship with a man. I come from a very strict Catholic background. Um, I'm sure that going to a Catholic school for 13 years might have had something to do with the way I think. And it just took me a little while to pretty much Put it into perspective and saying, God, was I stupid for even thinking like that. Dan was married to David's mom, Debbie, for 40 years. In 2008, Debbie was diagnosed with leukemia. She died just 20 days after being diagnosed. Her grandchildren, Harper and Gideon, were born two years after her passing. The one thing I regret most in my life is that his mother did not see where David's at right now with those two kids. Uh, she wanted a grandchild so bad, and, and, and um, she didn't get a chance to see it. On the day Debbie died, her family, including David and Neil, were at her bedside. And I can remember David, and when just the immediate family was there, and we were saying our last goodbyes. This is... Excuse me. It's four years and it's still hard. I remember him saying that uh, you'll never see my kids. We're gonna have kids, Ma, and you're never gonna see our kids. And I remember putting my hands around Neil and, and telling him, Neil, I'm so glad you're here because I consider you to be my son-in-law. And, and I feel that way to this day. And I think that's kind of where maybe I realized how close they were and how close he was going to be to our family. 